The ESP32 also has an integrated temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is part of the package of the ESP32 and provides information about how hot the microcontroller is running. You can then use it to keep an eye on its uh, on, on whether perhaps it's overheating. It can be used to measure ambient temperature, but you will need to then take into account the fact that the sensor is basically integrated on the chip of the ESP32 itself. So much of the temperature component or much of the heat that is picking up is from its own operation and not so much from the environment. So if you do want to take a measurement of the atmospheric temperature, the ambient temperature, it's best to, to do that when the device has just started before the device had enough time to heat up itself. So I've got an example sketch here. As you can see, I am importing the ESP32 module and I'm using the raw temperature function to get a raw temperature reading. You can find more information about that here in the documentation and the ESP32 general board control. There's a bit of information about the raw temperature function. And just keep in mind that the number that comes back is temperature in Fahrenheit, not in Celsius. So you can use this function to get the temperature in Fahrenheit. And then in this example, I've got a calculation that converts Fahrenheit into Celsius. So you can print that out as well. I've got a little delay here, just one second. So let's uh, start the script and see what the current temperature is. All right, so about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 48.89 degrees Celsius. And, uh, it's quite hot actually. Like, let's see if I can, can use my hot air gun to see. So I'm just blowing a bit of hot air on the ESP32. You can see the temperature is going up slightly. So obviously this works as advertised, no problem. So a use case for this sensor is, for example, if you are building a outdoors gadget based on your ESP32, which perhaps will be under direct sunlight, or it might be operating in hot conditions, you can check on the temperature of the MCU occasionally every few minutes to make sure that it does not exceed its operational limits. And if it does get close to the top end of its operational limits, then you can decide to turn off the device or put it into deep sleep so it can cool down a bit.